I appreciate that. First off, I'd like to introduce my wife. Please stand up. My lovely wife, Donna. My number one recruit, for sure. Um, it's great seeing so many uh, familiar faces, uh, friendly faces, and I really appreciate you all being here. I see my college roommate back there, which I appreciate you being here, friend. You want to catch this ball? I can, can you catch? Can you catch any better now than you did then? <laughs> anyway, it's great to see all the uh, friendly faces in the crowd, and uh, I'd like to reiterate as well, uh, being on Veterans Day, uh, the thanks and appreciation for all the veterans and their sacrifice and their commitment. So, um, I'd like to start off with that. Very proud uh, to be here today, and and excited to be here today as a Fresno State football coach. Uh, I want to take the opportunity to thank President Castro, Jim Barco for their trust and confidence uh, for this opportunity. It means a lot to us. Uh, it's kind of coming full circle all back around when I came here. I didn't play in the first game because the first game was one game at the end of the year, but I did play in the first full season of Bulldog Stadium, so have a long history, obviously. Uh, my family and I have always loved Fresno and our relationships here, which we have quite a few. Uh, I have a great deal of pride and passion for the university and for the football program. I appreciate the pride and tradition of Bulldog football having played and coached here uh, under great mentors like Coach Sweeney and Coach Hill. Uh, I do want to take this opportunity to thank Coach DeRuiter for all his contributions to the program and, and wish him well. This opportunity is a great fit for me uh, because I do understand the tradition of Bulldog football. I know where it's been and I know where it should be. And I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with all the past players, the supporters, and the entire Red Wave to bring this program back, back to prominence. Uh, I really believe this is a special place without a doubt. And through that experience over the years, um, I've been able to see how it's built and how it's done, and I look forward to that. Um, our mission will be this. Our mission and our goal will be this, and that's to grow and develop young men, to reach a full potential in, in all areas, academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually, to compete at a high level in the classroom and on the football field, and while doing so with great character and high integrity. That's very, very important that they're a representative and we're a representative of the community and of all the alumni that have ever attended Fresno State who have ever walked down that ramp to play a football game in that stadium. So I'm excited about the future. Uh, that being said, there's a tremendous amount of work to do in a lot of areas. Just to name a few, APR, recruiting and scholarship numbers, absolutely, uh, but I cannot wait to get after it. I am, I am going to go back right after this. We have a big game at Washington tomorrow against USC, but I will be back next week to start evaluating the program and all the areas of the program, and I'm very, very excited. For me, my coaches, when I said mentors, great mentors, they were my mentors, and especially Coach Sweeney. Uh, I, co I, I coached for Coach Hill for a year, but I played and coached for Coach Sweeney. And what he has done for this program and for this community is unbelievable. And I will be forever grateful to him uh, for the opportunity to come to Fresno State, for him believing in me and, uh, and teaching me the values of what it takes uh, to raise young men um, because I needed guidance and he absolutely did that. Um, I think more than anything, uh, if you took both of those guys, it would be the pride and tradition of Fresno State football. And I remember so many of the things I, I just, after being a head coach for so long, to see the energy that Coach Sweeney brought every day with all his mantras of no dogs down, run to the ball, some other things I can't say. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it was, he bled Bulldog Red. There's no question about it. And I'll tell you, when I first went to Cal as the head coach, I was there for maybe a week. And someone asked me, do you bleed blue and gold? And I said, no, I've been here a week. I don't bleed blue and gold yet. That has to be earned. It has to, there's a process in that. But I can honestly say I do bleed bulldog red because I've been here. And um, I appreciate it. 
So there's so many things that they did, especially Coach Winnie in my life, and so many other players' lives. I mean, that's the thing. That's why we're here. We're here to, to develop young men. And uh, so that's why we're here. And that's what I'm looking forward to.